Look, it's not dissimilar to what we've seen in uh, the UK with Brexit. This is not about party politics any longer. There is a fundamental divide in society, and Trump represents a wing of society that basically says the system is broken, there's only one party, it's not a, uh, it's not fair to the little guy anymore, and he is seen as a champion. I mean, this guy is filling stadiums still. And you have to keep him off. You have to have him banned from Twitter. You have to keep him off mainstream news to be able to actually thwart his obvious kind of support in the country. Friday night, he's, he's filling stadiums. Again, you know, all his opponents can't fill telephone boxes. So, no, his, his influence is growing and growing, not uh, subsiding by any stretch. So do you think it's slightly like we've got over here at the moment, the situation with Boris Johnson, is it's uh, politics is more about personality than actual policies? Uh, no, I, I, I actually, I, I don't. I don't think it's about personality. I think it's nearer. Uh, politics is now about principle. It's how do you want your country run? Do you even recognize that a nation is a nation? I think, you know, to, to, to expand it, I think it's nationalists against globalists is really what's happening in the Western world. Do you think that you can't run your own country? Or do you think that you, you have to be part of some huge conglomerate to be successful? These are the fundamental principles now. People like uh, Dan Newhouse, who are voting against Trump, it's kind of like suggesting that, you know, Boris Johnson and John Major are in the same party. You know, it's just like, look, it's, it's just a political stripe and it's a convenient uh, box to tick, but they actually don't represent the same principle largely. And that's what I think is happening is that people have seen through. This is the wonderful thing about things like GB News and social media. People have actually been able to uh, have peer to peer communication and talk to other people that feel the same way or feel the system is broken. And it's the it's it's the people against the system is what's actually happening. I don't think anybody is so stupid anymore that they can just be impressed by a personality. Um, I wouldn't hold your breath on that one, to be honest with you, Paul. Um, how do you think um, <laughs> Joe Biden's performance is helping Donald Trump in the popularity stakes? Well, it's kind of you to call it a performance. It's more of a kind of, uh, the, 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 it's largely a retirement from politics on the world stage whilst actually being in office. It's quite a remarkable <laughs> thing. He's just recovered from COVID. He's just recovered from COVID, which is marvelous news. So he'll be taking those Air Force One steps two at a time downwards, obviously, but from he, he's back to his full fighting fettle. No, I mean, it, look, the, the fact is we actually have minus one president at the moment. It's quite a remarkable state of affairs. Things are happening. I say this, I say, to be fair, I was challenged last week. Uh, Biden has had his best week in office since he, uh, like I said, since the coup or since uh, Trump left office. And uh, he has had his best week since he started. He's managed to get his own own party to vote for one of his bills. I mean, that's the <laughs> level of competence and support. I mean, it really is. It's like this is a red letter day. If you read the liberal press here, you'd think that basically that we're living in some sort of Democrat uh, utopia. It's just like, no, he managed to get one of his own bills. It still isn't finally through the Senate, but it's just happening now. He's managed to get one of his own bills through, and that is a successful week. So that's what we're dealing with. Trump is literally a more successful politician on the golf course currently. And I'm not saying that I am a huge Trump fan, and this is not just hyperbole. He is being more influential in America American politics right now on the golf course than Biden is in the uh, nursing home next door to the uh, Oval Office.